There we go. Look at that. Somebody who actually wants to go out there and play the holes, you got a much better chance of picking up these new holes if you're replaying people. Sharuba Springs, hole seven, par four. Fantastic. I've not seen this hole yet. Whew. And they're going to give us big headwinds on all these holes. So we're not going to get really good reads. I'm just wondering if over there on the right hand side there isn't some max overpower hook shot you could do and try and get on the green and one. It looks like that might be possible. My opponent's down there very nice. Good distance. Just wonder if we can get over. We might. And those rocks are right there. Just wondering if we couldn't get over. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try it. I'm going to see if I can get up over there. Now, going against that headwind, it's going to be about right in that neighborhood right there. So it's going to be a little short. But I'm going to try it. And I hit it 70 rings good to the right. Just barely made it. So it's definitely going to be possible for us to get on in one if we bring a bigger ball. So that's definitely going to be the way to go at it. The stuff over to the left trying to get around this bend um, is going to be very problematic. So I see a couple different shots that we could do out there. We could work on a max overpower hook shot, and we could probably get it done with a three power ball. Or we could bring a four power ball for that shot right there. It might be a little bit easier, but if we had any kind of tailwind, that shot would have been um, a little bit easier to set up. But I think to get all the way up to the green, we may have to bring a bigger ball or do the max overpower hook. Let's see if I'm on my short iron range or my rapier. I'm right at max distance for my rapier, which is 1.3 per ring. Just a little teeny sliver of backspin. Go right at it. 2.8, 1.1 per ring. Or excuse me, 1.3, there's 2.6. It's two in a sliver. Oh, and I hit it great to the right. Anticipation. Anticipation. And it went in the cup and I hit it great to the right. So that once again tells you that there's probably a wind adjustment that we have to make here. That works fine. Just fine. All right, that was Sharuba Springs, hole seven, par four. Let's see if that rematch. Oh, come on, dude. We're practicing. You're a master. You gotta t you're telling me you don't have the 20,000 coins or whatever it takes to play T5? All right. Well, at least we got some good videos for you guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching. All right, let's take a little better look at hole number seven here. So... My opponent went out into this range right here. And really, I, I don't think when we talk about arc where I was at out here in order to get through this gap and we talk about arc out here, we're not going to be able to get much more off of this side other than just landing out into this zone with a pitch coming in. So in my mind, this side right here, maybe in one-on-one -on -one play, that might be a factor. But in tournament play, anytime we can try and get on the green in one, that's definitely going to be the preferred option. So with a three power ball here, we had a headwind. 
But if we would have had a tailwind right here with a three power ball and an extra mile nine, I don't know that we have to do anything more than that to get up into this area to bleed up towards the green. If you've got an extra mile eight, you may have to bring out a four power ball. If you've got an extra mile seven or below, um, you probably will because you'll want to get as much distance out here as you possibly can. Now, if you bring out a bigger bigger ball, you might be able to do the same shot with a big topper. If my red line here was with a three power ball with an extra mile, right out here is going to be my red line with a big topper. If I bring out a bigger power ball, that big topper may fit into this slot and with all of its top center, you may be able to get over. But I am definitely going to be continuing to work on the right hand side. There's also, because of the angles here, if you draw the line going through it, trying to bridge this gap right here, there is the potential for a max overpower hook shot. And I don't know that we couldn't get this done even with like a QB or a rock. That'll be something we'll have to explore to see what it takes to uh, get over there. But this is definitely the side that I'm going to continue to work as the week goes on. I think straightforward, you can take your extra mile on a big ball and try and get up on the green in one, but there'll be options. So I'm going to work on those to see if see what our options are out there. But I would definitely focus on the right-hand side. All right, that was hole seven, par four, Cheruba Springs. Thanks for watching.